The Prophet ﷺ said that the Khilaf, the hadith in Abu Dawood, the Prophet ﷺ said that the Khilaf will remain in my ummah for 30 years. Then there will be kingship. Then there will be a tyrannical kingship. Then they will return the Khilafah upon the, khilafa upon the manhaj of Nabuwa, upon the methodology of prophethood. Not what you see today. Not what you see what these people are claiming. The claims are worthless. Don't believe the claims. Just because they claim we have the Amir al-Mu'mineen and anyone who does not give him the bayah, then he's a kafir. That in and of itself tells you that these people are not upon the manhaj of Nabuwa. Whoever does not make hijrah to him, whoever does not come to this Baghdadi, calls himself Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, he says, I am the Amir al-Mu'mineen, and I am the Khalifa, and I have the Khilafa. They say, if you don't give him the bay'ah, then you're a kafir. And whoever opposes him, and whoever does not agree with him, and if they don't put up his flag anywhere, then he's a kafir and he's worthy of being killed. This is the Khilafa upon the manhaj of Nabuwa. The one who utters la ilaha illallah to put a bullet in his head. Even if a mushrik in the heat of battle, when your sword is lifted and you're about to strike him because he's from the enemies and he utters the word la ilaha illallah, your sword is not allowed to come down upon his neck. As the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said to Usama bin Zaid, he said to him, the man said la ilaha illallah and you killed him. He said, Ya Rasulullah, he only said it to be saved from the sword. He said, and you pierced his heart? Where is that manhaj? Where is that justice that was established in the time of the Prophet ﷺ today? 